may be dreary outside, but something is brightening our day. I posted today about Chris Costa being back at New Center, Maine, and boy, are you getting the love on social media. What can I say? I'm more popular than Keith, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what you could say. It's yeah. not hard to do, Chris. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to the team. We're going to actually just uh, not even meet people turn in their security cards anymore when they leave. Because <laughs> they're going to come back. Just easier they're that way. Sorry. It's good to have you back. Thanks, man. Good to see awesome. you. Awesome. Uh, and we're giving him a gentle transition from uh, those. I had some people ask me. Um, where did he, where was he? Because they knew he left Well, he was in Texas, so welcome back. It's not a terrible welcome back. There's not feet of snow on the ground or anything like that. A couple of snow flurries out there, but uh, all of this is very, very light and having a hard time accumulating. It's possible that later tonight, early tomorrow morning, we could see some of it accumulate into the mountains, and rangely particularly, uh, maybe into Berlin, New Hampshire, as they bank up there. But that's really it, an inch or so possible. Otherwise, it's just chilly tonight, and tomorrow we end up with a mixture of sun and clouds, temperatures in the mid-30s. I think tomorrow's, in general, a nicer day than today because there's more sunshine around. And then Wednesday, I think, is the nicest day uh, of this stretch because it's sunny pretty much straight through. Temperatures though about the same. There's not a whole lot of variation going on here. Hence my uh, my tone of, of kind of boredom here. It's in the mid 30s, maybe upper 30s. It's just cloud cover variations and then more clouds come in on Thursday. But again, we're in the mid and upper 30s or so on Thursday. Next storm system approaches on Friday. That first initial approach will actually be a warm front, which will set the stage for likely a mix and probably rain along the coastline because warm air is going to get here first and then the precipitation behind it. There's still plenty of time to iron this out, but it looks like snow starts in the mountains and then maybe even they change over to rain Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. There is some hope though for ski areas and snowmobilers and all that, that it will go a little bit colder. The latest GFS was a little bit colder for the mountains. And they'd hold on to snow longer. I, I think for the most part though, along the coast, this looks like a, a rain event on Saturday, unless something drastically changes. There hasn't been a whole lot of that lately though. Ryan had a great story today on the polar vortex. And the basic idea here is we talked about it last week is there's a lot of cold air locked at the poles called the polar vortex and pieces of that snap off every once in a while. And when they do, they drift towards the United States. And so as we look into late January, there's a chance a piece of that will be nearby, which could bring our uh, weather below average during that time period. I'm not all in on that yet, though. Uh, a mixed rain on Saturday, clearing out on Sunday, mixture of sun and clouds on Monday. So really that storm on Saturday is the only thing to watch. Again, we'll see if it does end up trending colder. I think it would have to be a big change for the immediate coastline to see anything but a chilly-ish rain. Uh, interesting side note here, and we don't have time to really get into this too much, but um, disruptions in the polar vortex that send cold nuggets towards the U.S. are actually largely because of climate change. The whole globe warming weakens the polar vortex, and then we get snapped with colder pieces. So that's why weather is different than climate. There you go. Interesting. Thanks, Keith. We'll be right back.